Trump's been in the news. It's been the midterm election. So what did he do? He turned 5,000 Central American migrants into public enemy number one. A migrant caravan heading from Central America to the U.S. border right now. More than 5,000 people are in the caravan. That's called an invasion of our country. The migrants say they're fleeing violence and poverty. We will keep the criminal drug dealers, predators and terrorists the hell out of our country. What's he going to do? Deport himself. <laughs> I don't want sexual predators in America. That's my job. <laughs> He's calling it an invasion. Let's have a look at this terrifying group of invaders. <laughs> I mean, that's not an invasion. That's a Fisher-Price buggy. <laughs> if Trump's afraid of foreigners and their children, he must lose his shit when he sees his wife and kid. <laughs> right. But then we all know Trump likes to overreact. I mean, look at this. He wants U.S. troops to fire their guns on any migrant who even throws a rock at them. If they throw a rock, the army will shoot them. Did you see the unbelievable reason why? Trump said, anybody throwing stones or rocks, we will consider that a firearm because there's not much difference. <laughs> yes, there is! <laughs> No-one's ever been mugged at Pebble Point. <laughs> Give me all your money or I'll gravel you. <laughs> Kids go brap, brap, they don't go crazy paving. <laughs> never seen a drive-by shingling. <laughs> <laughs> Can it get more ludicrous? Yes, it can. Look where Trump claims these invaders have come from. And in that caravan, you have some very bad people. You're gonna find MS-13, you're gonna find Middle Eastern. You're gonna find what? You're gonna find Middle Eastern. They've come from the Middle East? <laughs> so let me get this straight. They've gone from the Middle East through Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Mauritania, Western Sahara, and then they've swam all roads across the Atlantic and then walked across Brazil, Guyana, Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Nicaragua, Honduras, Mexico, all the way to the border. <laughs> now, if some of those people have done all that whilst dragging a Fisher Price buggy, <laughs> Don't turn them away. Sign them up to the Olympics. <laughs> they're not invaders, they're triathletes. <laughs> and that is phenomenal stamina. I have a rest when I carry the shopping home. <laughs> My brother gets out of breath when he takes a shit. <laughs> President Trump has now signed his directive dealing with transgenders in the military. He said, where else but on Twitter, that transgender people cannot serve in any capacity in the military. Do you know why he wants to kick them out? because they're a financial burden. Trans surgery costs so much money. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Does it f The medical cost of having transgender troops in the US forces is estimated to be $5 million a year. To put that into context, Trump has spent over 24 million flying to Florida to play golf. <laughs> Trump wants 18 holes. Some of these guys are only asking for one. <laughs> To quote my mum, he's allowed to grab a woman's pussy and they're not allowed to get rid of theirs. <laughs> it doesn't seem right, Russ. <laughs> Trans healthcare in total would cost less than 0.001% of the US military budget. It's $5 million, right? $5 million. That is nothing to them. They spend $41 million every year on Viagra. <laughs> Their soldiers must look like they're playing Quidditch. Like, no wonder the Pentagon's massive. They need the space. Like, excuse me, excuse me. I don't know what I've been told. I can't get my dick to fold. I am... <laughs> what I'm saying is five million is not a lot, especially when you read what they've wasted money on in the past. They spent 43 million on a gas station in Afghanistan that was never used. They spent 28 million on forest camouflage for Afghani soldiers, which is a great idea until you buy a...
in map and realise there's no forest in Afghanistan. <laughs> they even spent $50,000 on a study to find out if elephants can sniff out bombs. <laughs> they can't! <laughs> and even if they can, there aren't any elephants in Iraq or Syria or <laughs> Afghanistan. Even if they had this gift, how are you going to communicate with them? <laughs> Just, psst! Is there a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> S Sergeant, is it a bomb or not? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else see Trump's slogan? Make America great and glorious again, or Magaga? <laughs> That's not a slogan. That's a piss Teletubby. <laughs> It sounds like someone on ketamine trying to say this lady's name. Magaga. <laughs> Lady Magaga. Did you see Trump's speech? It was full of the usual bollocks. I've gone decades, decades without a war, the first president to do it for that long a period. You've gone decades without a war. You were only in charge for four years, you simple fuck. <laughs> That's like me going, I got married in 2019, it's been the happiest 50 years of my life. <laughs> Inevitably, Trump had a pop at Joe Biden. He said thank you to the wrong country for inviting him to a major summit. Yeah, Biden mixed up Cambodia and Colombia, but it's a bit rich coming from Trump. Let's not forget how he pronounces Tanzania. Our embassies in Kenya and Tanzania... <laughs> If you think he struggles with words, check out how he deals with a water bottle. Are you getting ready? <laughs> it's like he's blowing on it. <laughs> he's, just, he's drinking it like a gerbil who's had lip fillers. Just... <laughs> it's so upsetting. His mouth is so weird. It's like watching someone perform ventriloquism with their asshole. <laughs> Which I'd watch and got a round of applause weirdly. <laughs> that might have been your hands, that might have been your ass. Just kind of. Your name, man, Russell. What I don't understand, how is he able to run for president, particularly when he did this? When FBI agents searched Mar-a-Lago, they found top-secret documents and dozens of empty folders marked classified inside former President Trump's personal office. Listen to him bullshitting about why it was OK for him to remove those papers. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Your brain is so powerful... <laughs> It can declassify things just by thinking about them. <laughs> but you still can't say Tanzania. Tanzania. <laughs> Did you see what he claimed other presidents have done? George H.W. Bush took millions of documents to a former bowling alley and a former Chinese restaurant where they combined them, so they're in a bowling alley slash Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Those well-known establishments. <laughs> I've lost count of the times I've been to a Chinese restaurant slash bowling alley. <laughs> we all have. Fancy some sweet and sour bowling? I can't. I'm booked for ping pong curry. <laughs> he wasn't just inventing new restaurants. Look where he claims Bill Clinton hid his documents. Bill Clinton took millions of documents from the White House to a former car dealership in Arkansas and kept classified recordings in his sock drawer. <laughs> in fact, he supposedly put the information from the White House into his socks. Absolute <laughs> madness. The only thing Bill Clinton used his socks for was cleaning up jizz. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's be honest. Mind you, we shouldn't be surprised by Trump's stupidity. He gets his information from Fox News. And they're coming in with diseases such as smallpox and leprosy and TB that are going to affect our people in the United States. A, smallpox was eradicated in 1980, and B, people with leprosy don't tend to march <laughs> on account of having leprosy! <laughs> Just, uh, uh, 
Uh, by the time they get to the border, they'll just be a pair of eyebrows. <laughs> He's not the only one. Listen to what this lady's worried about. We simply cannot have people about whom we know nothing living next door to us, working next to us, or driving next to us. What? <laughs> Nobody knows who's driving next to them. <laughs> when I'm on the motorway, I'm not like, hey, what's your name? What's your favorite color? Do you like astrology? Oh, f off. <laughs> Typical Capricorn. <laughs> There's more. Look what else she's concerned about. I want to know who is a pedophile, who is a sex offender, who thinks they're entitled to beat their wives. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know this. Savile, Weinstein, Chris Brown. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdest quiz ever. <laughs> Let's be honest, this is all fear-mongering bullshit. Obviously, not everyone in the caravan is perfect. Some of them may well be criminals, but crucially, if they are, they won't be allowed in. There's a border. They're not going to burst through like zombies. America shouldn't be scared of them. They should be scared of Trump. I mean, this is a man who is outwitted by an umbrella. <laughs> Here's a new rule. You can't close the border until you can close an umbrella. <laughs>